Time to take a look at another beat em up on the SD, and uh, this is a budget one released by uh, Screen 7 in uh, 1989 and Alternative Software in 1991, and developed by Emerald Software. We made a couple of other games for the SD like The Deep, Moonwalker, The Running Man, and uh, the arcade conversion Vigilante. And I haven't actually played any of these, so I don't really know what to expect. Kind of interestingly, the manual for the uh, Screen 7 release actually contains Swedish as one of the languages, which wasn't particularly common, I think. Unfortunately, I couldn't really read the manual because the scan was absolutely super low res, so yeah, I don't think it's going to be too complicated. So let's just dauntlessly dive in. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe not the most uh, amazing uh, looking title screen I ever saw. But I've seen worse. <laughs> the face is pretty decent. The background, I think, looks digitized. And whenever I utter the words budget game and beat em up in the intro of a video, I get slightly concerned. I'm sure you're not surprised by that, right? <laughs> so uh, I really don't know what to expect. But uh, I feel hesitant to press fire, and yet here I'm doing it anyway. And this is a two disc game, by the way. Oh, looks pretty nice. You are now flying into Heathrow Airport. I see. Am I going to beat up airplanes, maybe? Or maybe beat up people on an airplane? That would be cool. The music is already getting on my uh, nipples a bit. Okay. Uh, fairly nicely animated sprite here. And uh, this is uh, kind of a little bit of a... Renegade ripoff, methinks. And I can't move up or down. I can only punch and do things. Oh, it's a nice umbrella you've got there, sir. Shame if anything should, uh, you know, happen to it. That's a damn shame that I can't pick it up and use it as a weapon. That would be pretty cool. I wonder if I can turn off the music. I'm sure the manual would have told me if I could have read it. Oh, I can press M to turn it off. That's that's nice, but there is actually no sound effects. Also, there's no enemies, and okay, that was quick. Let's carry on. Let's uh, get the tube to uh, Piccadilly or something. Oh, shit. So of course, people inside of the subway car as well. This isn't too bad. I mean, it's not amazing. I mean, graphics are pretty nice. Um, although the, the, the combat doesn't feel terribly satisfying. It feels a little bit weak and the sound effects are really kind of weak. And would you not poke me in the butt with an umbrella, please? That is considered very rude. Let's just move on here. I don't want to mess with these people. Oh, you got a knife. I'm going to prioritize you. We can duck, but yeah, that didn't help me there. Okay. And we can't scroll any further, so maybe these guys are the last I need to defeat. Well, Streets of Rage, this ain't. Please select my... Ah, oh, you can select a destination. That is uh, pretty cool. Let's go to Highgate. Oh, come on. Is it the same? Ah, uh, this is just... I hope I can get outside and beat up people on the street at least. Can I jump? No, I can't. The same people. The well-dressed man and the dude in the tank top. Paying me a visit yet again. Let's just re-enable the music. I don't know why. I just find the music or the sound effects to be really puny and tiresome. Yeah, the combat is absolutely not satisfying in any shape or form. <laughs> it just feels <laughs> so weak. And could you please just go down? And I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to deal with these, you know, when they attack me at the same time here. Oh, we got burger ads. Ah, oh, maybe we can go outside. Beat up people in London. I can't move. What is going on? Okay. Did I miss something? Am I supposed to go the other way or 
Anyway, let's just go to the left then. Graphics are pretty nice and the animation is pretty decent. Better than I thought, actually. Oh. Hang on. Am I gonna have to go to another station? Oh, man. Is this it? That's a bit weak sauce, I think. Well, and the same enemies keep attacking me. Let's see if we can kill this guy quickly because I don't want the other guy stabbing me in the back with a umbrella. I don't know if there's a trick to dealing with these guys because it's really rather impossible not to take damage, I think. Well, this is kind of work. Well, they're still hitting me, right? Take a foot to the face. Ah, oh, yeah, this is clunky. Really not satisfying at all. Kensington, no, hello, Kentish Town. Yeah, let's go there. So this is it. I don't get to go, you know, out of the tube stations here. Oh, that's pretty weak. <laughs> I mean, all right, it's a budget game. I don't know how much this cost back in the day. Probably not too expensive, right? Give me your umbrella, you bastard. I wonder how many lives I've got. I've got two more lives, great. So I can, oh, I picked up something. That's, I thought that was a newspaper, but it says air. Did I pick up air? I don't know, it's unknown. This game is a little bit disappointing, a little bit meh. Let me guess, I'm just gonna go over here and admire the advertising, which is basically the same. That's mildly disappointing. Come on, let me go outside. Get some fresh air. Nope. Maybe the air uh, note, uh, I don't know, maybe that gets me somewhere else. One can only hope. Let's go inside again. It's safer there. Yep, the same graphics over and over and over again. And you can kind of cheese. Spam these poor enemies here. The good eye's strong with this character. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. And it seems a bit random how much damage you uh, need to uh, subject them to before they... Would you please do it? Do something before they die. Or just flash and vanish, which is, I suppose, the same thing, right? Please. Sometimes the controls just don't seem to want to do what I want to, but hey... I've kicked him like 58 times in the face and he's just, ah, I can't take it. Don't worry, my umbrella protects me. Uh, I don't know, Houston. Oh, we could go to Camden. Oh, damn, I've actually been to Camden ages ago. It was a much more interesting place than this, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, you two, you both deserve a sneaker to the snout. And it seems like if you combine you're gonna have different, uh oh, damn it, different attacks. Oh, come on. It kind of works a bit better. And it looks like I can get a knife down there to the right. Looks like a shape of a knife. But it says I'm flying into Heathrow app. Yeah, I, I don't know. Where am I from? Mainland Europe, maybe? Am I fighting the Brexiters, maybe? Who knows? Yeah, I just keep taking damage. It's really rather annoying. Okay, let's check out the ads. I come for the beer, but I stay for the ads. Oh, huh, that didn't make any sense. All right, let's just take the train somewhere else. Maybe, yeah, let's see if we can go to Camden. Combining your attacks seems to, you know, speed things up. Just doing cheese spam is maybe not the best of ideas. Why, why are you just, come on, get it, why are you? Yeah, the controls are a bit weird. Sometimes they just stop working. Let's go to Camden Town. Go to Camden Market and buy a machine gun. Or maybe a baseball bat or a new t-shirt. I don't know. Just something to make this place more interesting. That would be great. At least the train is waiting for me while I kill people, so that is good. Don't you be poking that umbrella in my face. Lousy loser. Ah, Camden used to be a fun place. 
I can see myself getting pretty damn tired of this game pretty quickly if there's no more than this which I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case and again how am I supposed to deal with this I'm too slow please don't come anywhere near and again he just freezes up sometimes and decides nah I'm not gonna defend myself against this individual with a big flipping knife I don't know what is going on there and please I don't want to smell your sneakers no more than you want to smell my fists, right? Finchley Central, maybe. Sounds like a fun place to be. Every tube station in London looks the same, right? And it's the same train as well, with the exact same graffiti. <laughs> please, 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 attack. Don't stand there admiring his hat. Some sample sound effects could have at least have made this a little bit more interesting. Yeah, this is a rather weak beat-em-up, even though it does again look nice and sound pretty damn awful. Does that say Northern Line? I think it does. Pretty impressive use of pixels, that. <laughs> I wonder if the pickups are random, because I assume we should find like... Oh, would you attack, please? Uh, find like a knife and a note. Uh, or something, I don't know. So, where to next? Kentish Town, Tufnell Park. Yeah, let's go to Tufnell Park. It's supposed to be beautiful at night, right? Maybe we can get mugged there, because that would be maybe more fun than this. The fighting really does feel pretty random. Both how the damage works and... Oh, God, where am I? why am I just... And again, the controls just stop working there. I don't know why. And game over. You know what? I've had enough already. Paid for maybe 20 minutes or yeah, less than that. This is definitely not fun. This is just a super weak budget game, budget brawler or beat em up that seems to lack any content. I'm kind of curious to see if there's anything more, but honestly, I don't want to spend another minute in the subway system of London fighting the same three sprites over and over again. And I couldn't actually find any reviews for this one. Not entirely surprising. So I guess I'm going to say thanks for watching the Angel Fall. And as always, hope to catch you next time in a better game. All right? Cheers.